Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we will review and analyze the new 2023 Rolex releases. Let me know in the comments what do you think about them. Here we have the new Yetmaster in a 42mm and titanium material. It really looks nice and some people would take this one over the Submariner. What do you guys think about that? The new Sky the War in green looks nice as well in my opinion. Rolex discontinued some colors but they offer new ones. The Explorer in 40mm is a great release as it will be the sweet spot for many people. Ok, so we are already entering in dangerous territory where strong feelings and discussion can hit the conversation. What about the new Daytonas? Do they look better for you? According to Rolex, it has a better design now, more proportion and clean. Well, the panda bear disagrees. What's your opinion, guys? I really think the older Daytons look better, but they improve the movement and I believe the most shocking release of this year by far is the open case back. I hope that Rolex offers that and an, as an option for all the watches because I think the Rolex movements, even they are not the most beautiful ones out there, they are worth to be seen. What about the new day date models? I know many people don't care, but I think they are so beautifully made, especially this cornoline dial. The color scan is so nice. This green aventurine dial is cool and original. The new GMT Master. I really, really like it. The bezel's color is very nice, but why Rolex didn't offer this new GMT in a full stainless steel model? I don't get it, other than Rolex teasing us, but wait, this is only the beginning. You know what? I think I'm going to get this one instead. I always liked this watch from its release, but now I like it more. Guys, do you miss something from the new Rolex releases? Yeah, a new Submariner. I don't know why they didn't make a 43mm Submariner and a pinky dial one. Just joking guys. Discontinued model. The very nice but no so popular Milgaus. Hopefully it will come back someday. With the design upgrade it deserves. The Rolex 19.8. It is nice? Yes. It is nicer than the competitors it has? Definitely not. The retail price is $23,000, so what about this one instead? It's way cheaper in that. Or this brand? Well, they are more expensive, but it's another level. Okay, I have to warn you about the next section. I'm going to show you some images with some explicit content, so keep watching only if you're ready for that. Yes, today is April Fool's Day, so I wanted to show you what Rolex prepared for this day. And the best part is that they are real models and ready to sell and to buy. If you know, you know. Hopefully, you have a good relationship with your Rolex AD. Ciao, guys.